Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I would like to talk about uh, visual aid uh, for object, object and props So basically, uh, this visual aid really enhance your presentation uh, and if you bring the replica or model in your uh, presentation it will it will really helpful so uh, saying the actual item will often make it easier for your audience to understand your meaning and will help you uh, connect with your audience on an emotional uh, level so basically um, prop can be used as part of uh, demonstration or as a standalone item that you refer to in your speech moreover you need to consider uh, if you give a speech to a large scale of audience uh, the replica is too small for your audience you need uh, the alternative way is you need to uh, pass the item so oh, that's not uh, does not disturb your speech such as example if you want to show a London tower you can only bring the replica or model one so uh, you can express the feeling that's all from me thank you Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is Nurul Ain binti Muhammad Zalani. My matric number is 1200226. Okay, so today I would like to present to all of you what are kinds of visual aids that we can use in our speech. For your information, we can use photographs and drawings as an object or image to attract our audience. However, we need to make sure our pictures is big enough to make sure our audience could see it without straining their eyes. In addition, when we use photographs and drawings in our speech. It actually helps us as the speaker to translate complex ideas into visual terms which is the audience could grasp it immediately. The most effective way to show our drawings and photographs uh, is with a presentation program such as presentation uh, such as PowerPoint and um, Google Slides. So that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Haliza binti Abdul Khalid. My metric number is 1200723. One of the visual aids is graph. It can its audience have trouble grasping a complex series of numbers and show statistical trends and patterns. There are have three type of graph. First, pie graph. It highlights segment of a circle to show simple distribution patterns. Second, life line graph. It use one or more lines to show change statistic over time or space. Third, bar graph. It particularly good way to show comparison among two or more items. Just that, thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Faris Firdaus bin Sabri and I am from the group 5. I will talk about chart and video which is also a type of visual aids. First thing first. What is the benefit of using a chart and a video in your presentation? Well, a chart is a summary from a whole lot of information that you gather to make up a content for your speech. So, by using a chart, the speaker will make it much more easier for audience to understand and acknowledge the information well. But remember not to use an overload of information in one single chart, make it two or more. Next, a video will also help to improvise and support your presentation by making the speech more alive rather than you just talking throughout the whole speech. But if the duration of the video is too long, it can cause a distraction of audience attention from the speech itself. So a 30 second video is the most recommended one for speaker to present to the audience in a way to help them visualize the information of the speech well. Next, the speaker. Sometimes you can use your own body as a visual aid by illustrating how a conductor directs an orchestra or by revealing the secrets behind the magic tricks or by showing how to perform using the sign language 
and so forth. In addition to clarifying the speaker's idea, doing some demonstration can help the audience involved. It also can reduce the speaker's nervousness by providing an outline for extra adrenaline. If you plan to show a long process that you need to complete in the time that allocated for your speech, you might borrow the techniques of the television chef. They work through all the steps in making a perfect marinated chicken, but they have a second and a complete chicken to show you at the last minute.